Today we're going to look at two apps that help you blend two images seamlessly and really, really quickly. Um, one is just a straightforward blend of two photos, like a double exposure. And another one is where you can multiply effects onto it, which is um, something you can do in things like Photoshop. So I'll go through both of them. Let's go over to Canva and have a look. So we start with Canva homepage, create a design. And I'm going to go for custom size because this is the size that I normally use for Kindle book covers. This is Canva tips for authors, where we show authors and writers how to use Canva for their book marketing. If you are an author who'd like to talk to other authors about Canva, come join the Facebook group. It is free and the link is in the description. And if you'd like some free stuff where you can just drag and drop your cover and you're good to go in a few minutes, that's also free and the link is in the description. Canva have new, rolled out several new tools for blending images. The, these are Canva apps. So I'm going to show you one of them. Um, I like this one because it's more versatile than the other ones that I looked at. Let's get two images to blend. So I'm assuming we're making a book cover. So we've got a person in a sunlit field doing something that just looks painful. And we've got a shooting star and mood and darkness. Okay. Apologies, apologies in advance if this tutorial is a bit bitty. I've got a poorly child at home, so I'm quite regularly being summoned to go elsewhere, being interrupted. Okay, right. Anyway, we got our two images and we're going to put this one on the top. So we scroll down to apps and we search for blend and we want image blender. So this only works on photos. Interestingly, I've tried it where you've removed the background of a photo. It still works then. So you select your thing and hit blend selected image. Before we go any further, just a quick side note to say, I don't get paid for making these videos and there's quite a lot of resources on there. And if you'd like to say thank you, you now have the opportunity just hit the buttons, the three buttons, and you can buy me a cup of tea. Not coffee, because I don't drink coffee, but you know, same principle. Okay, right. Image Blender, right. You can choose between linear and radial. Radial is quite nice. You can uh, insert it into the middle of an image. So it's a circle and you can change the position or the diameter of the circle. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do linear. And we want the top of the image, so we turn it over. And we want to stretch it all the way down to here. And then we want the blend to go over here somewhere. Now, as you can see, this gives you quite a lot of flexibility. So you can, you know, have a sideways blend compared to um, Easy Reflections and some of the other blend apps. Right, save. And there you go. You've blended two pictures really, really quickly and easily. Now all you have to do is stick a title on it and stick an author name on it. And you've got some kind of sci-fi fantasy book cover. Let's have a look at the other one, which is called Blend Image. Right, so let's go to Image Blend. Now the trouble with, sorry, Blend Image. The trouble with this is that it will blend, it will blend the whole of this image. I can't crop it properly to get it, get rid of the bottom bit. Let's do starry night sky, see what else we can find. Let's look vertical and free. Let's go with this one. So we make it fill the whole image. And then we go to apps. Compost. Oh. We go to apps. And we go to 
blend image. So previously we used image blender, now we're using blend image. Okay, so we need top layer this file. And oopsie. So use selected image. And let's move it to the side. Bottom layer, use selected image. And it puts them together. Now that's multiply. There are different blend effects. Normal, uh, which is just one on top of the other. Darken, multiply, color burn. I quite like that. I actually quite like multiply as well. There we go. Add to design. And it adds it as a new image. So what would be really nice is if we could manipulate the image first. Because what it does is it takes the whole image as it got imported in rather than um, rather than after you've played with it. So it would be nice if we could just retain the changes that we made when we use blend image, but we can't. So if this is an issue, what I suggest you, you do is get the composition right and then re-download them as two images and put, bring them back in so that everything's in the right place. So yeah, I really like that. That's kind of weird and dystopian. So that's another way to blend two images together. And this gives you the um, lightning and darkening and burn effects that you can sometimes get in things like Photoshop. The other interesting thing is with this image, you can go to edit and hit adjust and you can adjust the background and the foreground separately. So you can adjust the whole image or you could adjust the foreground of the background depending on how you set it up when you, um, when you blended them. So let's increase the brightness in the foreground. So you could do that or let's background image there you go which makes it a little bit brighter and possibly more usable as a book cover so there we go two apps for blending images both available for free on the camera free and both very useful for making book cover images if you found this useful tell all your friends and i'll see you in the next video